<laughs> All those timbers are shivering. All those timbers are shivering. <laughs> Last week on Coast Life, we got our new mooring installed, met Steven Seagal, kept working on the dinghy, and talked about mooring theory. And for other up-to-date info, you can join us on Facebook and Instagram. The links are in the description below. Corner? What corner? Um. Yar. Yar. Who's steering? Wait. We're downstairs. I'm coming behind you, Jeff. Oh, upstairs. Normal attire. This is me. Brian is uh, what? Steeman Lee's. Uh, I, I, I'd be the first mate. Only first mate. mate. Uh, yeah, yeah. Captain Ron. Yeah. I'm Captain Ron for the summer. It works out pretty well. <laughs> Today, and we're going to be uh, doing the poker run with the Dartmouth Yacht Club. Arr, arr. We're at uh, Fish Planning right now. It's a pirate themed, as you can see, there's lots of pirates around. Everybody's uh, trying to get docking spots right now. All the power boaters won, and we're just chilling on Steam and Lee's boat because uh, we don't have to do anything. We don't have to do anything, and we can drink and we can do whatever, so it'll be a good time. Yar! Yar! Smile for the pirate can! Cheers! What do you do with a drunken sailor? I don't know. It's Amelia. I don't think I've ever seen so many boats rafted up. So we've been hanging out at Bishop's Landing for a couple hours, chilling with everybody, and now we've got some delicious foods. I really smell your pork. Is there pork and bacon? I think there's, there's pork <laughs> and bacon. Use all the pork. Yeah. All the parts of the pig in there. You want to use it all. It's the only humane way to do it. <laughs> Do you have to leave your knife? <laughs> I just got kicked out of the jazz fest for having a plastic sword. to find out if we've won things with our poker hand. We'll have to get two more cards, I think? Yeah. And then we can see if we win something. And we're hunting to see what the party's all about over here. Yeah, where there's supposed to be shots. There's supposed to be drinks. Oh. But there's girls who are acting on a knife. It's like almost straight. It's very strong. 
thank you much, Lee. Demon Lee! <laughs> you want me to stop saying it? lies in these tickets. We didn't win anything. Boo. Just calling a Yep. Oh, you're just drinking it right out of the thing. Is there rum in it yet? Do you want this open? It's probably easier if I pop it. Yeah, you know what to do. Right? I know, right? There's a lot of ice. My teeth just like just froze right out of my face. It wasn't, it wasn't rum, although there is a lot. There's, there's rum in there. Definitely. It was the ice that, that did me in. Well, it's another hot day in Nova Scotia here. It's not so hot. Wait, it's not so hot. I didn't think there was very much, but no, I'm uh. We don't win anything, love. I heard. We do have raffle tickets still, though. That's okay. So there's a hope. Steven! Steven Seagal! Come back, Steven! <laughs> Steven! Steven! <laughs> Steven! <laughs> Lots of leftovers. Some. Steven! Uh. Oh, yeah, Steven. You're into that. Well, that was a long day with lots of fun. So thanks, Lee, for letting us tag along on your boat. And it was Chad's birthday a couple of days ago, so it was a great chance to hang out with everyone, have some drinks, and, and have some fun for that, too. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right, things are going really good in dinghy land. Um, so I've got these back patches. Uh, put on. I learned that these are actually mostly to stop spray and splash from coming up, um, but I figured they'll also add some structural uh, holding power here to here to here. So that's good. We've got all this done. Um, Steeman Lee called me one night and told me he was over at Bill's place and Bill mentioned that you also have to glue uh, the inside of the tube, not just the outside. And so I did that. It was a bit tricky, it didn't turn out awesome, but they're glued, so it's extra holding power, nonetheless. And I've added these um, black strips to cover up uh, what used to be an old logo, 
and because you know now it's a new brand right I've repurposed it all this is a custom boat <laughs> and uh, so I got some white strips so we'll be putting these on and then we're gonna uh, put the name of the little boat here so I'm using these stickers that Keith sent us last year thank you Keith um, we're gonna be sticking them on I'm actually going to adjust it I'm going to put coast and then I'm going to take this L and a few other little lines and make it into a Y and we're going to call it Coasty because our new boat's going to be called Coasty you know it's like a little coast lifeboat anyways that's what we're doing so it needs two days curing time and we can slap a motor on the back I've got one all ready to go I got an 8 horsepower Suzuki um, all geared up and uh, we're going to take it for a rip So the last time we were here launching a boat, it was a sideshow. It was uh, the first time we ever launched a boat and it was a big 25 foot keel boat, so it wasn't the greatest idea. Uh, you can go watch the video, it's the very first video ever. It'll be awesome. No swimming for you today? No, but we will get our feet wet. Holy Moses. It floats. Coasty, he Hi. floats. Oh, you dirty little engine. It's angry. Oh. <laughs> this one works. So we're trying to set up our new Dodger. It's uh, been edited. We got uh, some new windows sewn in, and uh, uh, the, the seam along here has been edited. Um, and we got Brian, Lee's first mate, to uh, do that. The, both of those guys have a industrial sewing machine, so it may not look pretty, but it's going to dodge the wind. Ha ha ha! Ha ha! <laughs> Sweet potato chili. Yum. We got running water. We got a stove. Yeah. We got food. We almost have a Dodger. <laughs> getting there. Getting there. It's getting there. Uh, it's not the prettiest Dodger in the world, but I tell you what, it does work. It dodges wind. So, it's been comfortable. And it gives us a little bit of shade. See, look. Shade. I like it. So, yeah. Alright, so I found a couple of problems. Uh, nothing major, but uh, when we had it out on the water, it seemed like it was flooding. Like there was, um, the float wasn't turning off, and it was getting too much uh, fuel into the carp. So I took the carp apart. It was a little dirty, nothing crazy. Uh, the float did seem to be working, but I took the, it apart anyways and cleaned it just to be sure. Um, and the only other thing I'm finding right now is that the throttle cable is way out of adjustment. You can see right here, there's a bunch of movement. And it's not moving this one little bit. So I'm gonna have to adjust these to make the difference up. So I noticed while the motor was running that it wasn't peeing out of the back in a stream, which it should. Oh. So I'm taking it off to uh, see if it's any good, if there's some other problem the same deal. There's the impeller. Looks in good shape. I mean it could use a replacement. It's not the best. But all of the uh, fins are in good shape. There's no cracks. So I don't think that's our issue. So because the impeller is good it means there's something this is the feed hose for the water something blocking between here 
all through here and in here and out this little pee hole. It is coming out this hole, but it also is supposed to spray. All right, so it's um, round two of launching Coasty. We had some motor problems the first time. But uh, I have confidence. Dodger ever. Skinny. It's like one person gonna hide behind that Dodger. 